Welcome back to Math to Mars. So um, today we're going to be um, learning about some um, problems and concepts we can use in competitive exams such as the AMC and um, you know just some like core skills to have for competition math. So let's just get started. So we're asked to find the length of the common external tangent of two external tangent circles. So what does this mean? We have to find the length of a common external tangent. So I'll just draw that in really quick. Common external tangent means it's touching both circles. Um, and there are two external tangent circles, which means there's one point on the circle, which is here, that is touching. Alright, um, so, and we know the radii are 11 and 8 of these two circles. Alright, so, what do we know? Um, if we draw down a tangent line, this is always going to be 90 degrees, because um, th that's a, a property of tangent lines. Um, a tangent line to a circle is always going to have a 90 degree angle with one of the radii lengths. So... Yeah, so we know these are 90 degrees, and what we're trying to do here is form a rectangle. So we can just draw in a line here and make this a rectangle. Sorry if it's hard to see that, it's, you know, sorry because of my drawing, but like, yeah, that's supposed to be a rectangle. So, um, yeah, so now let's get to solving. So we know that this length is 8, because uh, from the uh, center of any circle to any point on the um, edge of a circle is always going to be the radii and same here 11 right um, okay so I need to find this length over here well uh, which we can uh, also find by finding this length because opposite sides of a rectangle are always the same length so we can just call this side a B we're trying to solve the length for and since uh, this is 11 this is 8 we can find this is 3 and the hypotenuse of this right angle Triangle, right? It has to be a right angle because this is a straight line from this radius to a straight line, and um, we know that all straight lines are 180 degrees, and since this is 90 degrees, that also has to be 90 degrees, so it's a right angle. And the hypotenuse is 19 because if we add the radii going from uh, past the circle, since they're um, thankfully externally tangent, that makes our job easier, so we know it's 19. So now we can just apply the um, Pythagorean uh, theorem a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So 19 squared is equal to, uh, let's say a is 3, is the 3, so 9 plus, um, plus b squared. So yeah, I already solved, let me start, let me just, 3 squared. So this is 9 plus b squared is equal to 19 squared. Uh, 19 squared is just, um, 361. I'll just calculate that just to make sure. Um, 19 times 19. So, and this one's 81, so 1, 8. Oh. So, 17. Um, this is 0. This is a 9. And this is a 1. So, 1. Um, 9 plus 7 is, um, 16. That's 361. Yeah, that's what we got. So, now, B squared is equal to... 361 minus 9, which is, um, which is, let's do it, 361 minus 9, 365, 11, 2, 5, 352. So I have this, uh, pre-calculated, uh, so the answer, if we find this, uh, the square root is 4, uh, root 22, if we simplify, root 352. So, since that's um, this leg over here, that's going to be the same length over here. So, um, yeah, this is also going to be 4 root 22. And we have found the, that's how you find the length of the external common tangent. So, thank you. I hope you learned something. See you next video.